Qu'est-ce qu'il y a C'est fesses. The National Rail train system is incredibly, incredibly annoying. Okay, not only did I miss my train, it also this time again wasn't my fault. Let me explain. So I'm coming to get my train, my train is at 10.44, right? I get to the train line, I see the train come in, and I'm walking down the lane to get onto the train at like 10.42, I think it was. And the train guy just looks at me, gets back on the train, and tells the driver to go. And then they leave. And I'm just stood there like, well, I could have got on the train, and it would have been fine, and he would have made some money from me, but obviously not. That's great. Brilliant. So now I'm waiting for another 20, no, half an hour. I'm waiting for half an hour. And then I've got to get a train to Lincoln, so then get a train back to Nottingham. Nightmare. Sort yourself out, National Rail. Ugh. So irritating. <laughs> I love it when Alex organises all my stuff for me. All the tech flow clips and the songs I need to use. It just makes my life 10 times easier. If you're watching this mate, cheers. And actually, on that note, I'm gonna say a quick word. So Alex has gone on holiday yesterday at some stupid time in the morning, like 4 a.m. or something. If you come from his channel, you probably already know this. But yeah, that means I've got a tech flow video to do this week. I've got to upload it, I've got to get everything sorted, I've got to make sure it's all up and dandy and fine and brilliant. And in order to do that, I have to edit it first, obviously. Alex has sorted all the clips out. Again, cheers, mate. But on a side note, Alex, if you're watching this, have a great time in Spain. Chill out, I know you've got a load of work to do. Don't stress yourself doing it. Enjoy your time over there. Fly your drone, get some sick clips, I know you will. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. But I need to get some work done. So, uh, yeah. Just been editing the tech flow video, minding my own business, having some lunch that I made earlier and I got a message from my friend on Facebook. Now this isn't just any message, it's not just one of your everyday hey how you doing messages. This was really really nice. So basically my friend Stefan, you've probably seen him in past vlogs, if you haven't you probably should go back and check him out, he's a very very cool guy. Let me tell you what he said. He said, morning brother, I just want to let you know over the years of knowing you, you are a great guy, very positive and you know what you want and you always go out of your way to make other people smile. I've stood by your side and watched you become a respectable young man. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> I'll reply to you now, but if you're watching this, that means so much to me. Which brings me on to what I was gonna say anyway at some point today. Just taking some time out of your day to make someone smile is probably one of the most important things you can do on a daily basis. And saying that, probably one of the most easy things to do on a daily basis. So the next time you're thinking, oh, I can't really be bothered to message this guy, or I'm not doing anything, what can I do, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you just choose someone on your friends list, on your contact list, whatever, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, or just your phone, like any other normal person. Select one of those people, or a couple, and just send them a message saying how much you appreciate them, how much they've helped you, and, and things like that. And if they have helped you, then just let them know that. And it, honestly, it makes someone's day. It's just made my day today. 
I've been very stressed trying to get A, this tech fair video done, B, trying to get the training time, which I missed, and C, just, I'm just, I'm, my head's just cloudy today, basically. But that just made my day. So again, thank you, Stefan. If you're watching this, that means so much. Honestly, thank you. I've got to get some work done now, though. And I've finished. It's rendering now and it is actually 27 minutes past two. I've taken quite a while to do that, but I've got so much work to do now, I'm gonna have to get it done. But I've been thinking before I do that, I might, I might do something a little bit special for you guys. I might, in fact, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just quickly do a little visual tour of the editing desk, just so you guys can kind of figure out what's what and what everything looks like. Cue the music. I've just finished all my work and check out this new desktop I've just made. I think it looks dope. So basically that's my logo, my YouTube logo, and then the work hard anywhere thing. Similar to basically what Alex has on his, but with my own logo. And just looks, I just love the background. It's just dope. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I've finished all my work now. I've just, I don't know, I, there's just a lot of work that goes into running your own business. And this is what I want to explain right now. Okay, so there's three things that make up your business. Three key players, if you like. Now one of those things, one of those things is passion. Another one of those things is having the right mindset. And last but not least, you've got to enjoy it. Now all these things would go to absolute sh if you didn't have any organisation. Unfortunately, organisation is key to any business, regardless of what it is. It could be film, it could be you know accounting, it could be swimming, it could be absolutely anything. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't know why I chose swimming out of all the things I could have chosen, but I chose it anyway regardless. It doesn't really matter what it is, it's all down to organisation, but organisation is held up by these three things underlying it. So those three things are having a passion, having the right mindset, and loving what you do. And all three of those things add up to, generally, a good business, a strong business. But the main key thing is organisation. It always is and it always will be. As much as I hate it and as much as it's quite annoying and it's not exactly the coolest thing to do, being organised is key to everything. Now I have a lot of people ask me, is running your own business easy? It's always a yes or no answer. I can never be definitive about it. It's never yes or no, it's always somewhere in between. Yes, it's easy. It's easier if you are the same as me and hate being told what to do by someone of a higher authority. It's easier in that aspect because you are your own boss and you can do whatever you technically want to do. That also kind of depends on whether you want your business to succeed or fail, but you can do what you want to do nonetheless. Where it gets hard is again, organization. I've just spent about three hours doing a business sort of tally and basically a chart where I add up all my income and then all my outgoings and I have to add that up and add to that as I go along. So every job I do gets ticked off on this list, one by one. It's just very frustrating and it does take up a lot of your time. So in that aspect, yes, it is hard and organisation is key. As I said, it is absolutely key. So running your own business is hard, yes. Running your own business is also incredibly enjoyable. So add up those things and let that be a little bit of a decider for you as to whether you want to start your own business. All I can say is, give it a go. If it fails, it fails. If it succeeds, yay. <laughs> right, that's everything finished. I need to go get the train. My train's in 20 minutes. I'm just gonna try and pop to Asda, get some food, and then go home. Right then, office. I shall see you another day.
I just ended up bumping into Lucas again. But now I've had to come and get a lift from Emily's dad to get to Emily's because it was about five minutes ago absolutely chucking it down. So I'm gonna go grab a little ride from him now. Jesus. It's now 12 minutes past 10. Quite a few hours after earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I bumped into Lucas twice. Lucas is the guy that you saw earlier when I got on the train the first time and then actually by accident ended up getting on the same train as him when he was coming back from work at five. So I saw him twice in one day. But either way, that's Lucas. I know him from school. If you're watching this, Lucas, hello. But yeah, I got off the train when I got home and it was absolutely chucking it down. Right, so I ended up getting a lift from Emily's dad and then coming to Emily's, which is where I am now. We've just watched The Hunger Games, which is actually a really good film. I very much enjoyed that. Thank you, Emily. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I think it's been quite a long one today because I've had like two or three chats with you guys. So yeah, apologies if it is really long. If it isn't, then all good, really. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. So I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to smash that sub button. Smash the like button. Let's hit 10k soon. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.